So let's see if I can redeem myself after the last one with hanging a piece for absolutely no reason. And we're going to go with my old friend, the knight a6 variation. So it typically confuses folks. And you know what? Since he did that, we're going to go there. And we're just going to get a hodgepodge odd position just to confuse my opponent. And I'm going to try to play faster than him. Nothing too fancy. If g4, bishop d7, and we're going to go into a French-like position. And see, now this seemed kind of annoying because of that move. Uh-huh. And I'm going to go here. Buddy boy, I don't know so much about this. This is not looking friendly to your life. And my weird opening is paid off as knight g3 is met by knight c2. And if it was my move right now, knight d3 would be mate. And I've definitely done a few videos on the knight a6 uh, advanced variation. It is a speculative move at best, but even good players, as we can tell, I mean, 2360 is a very reasonable rating on Lee Chess, can go wrong quickly if they can't just prop themselves up on memorized theory. So I do like, especially in Blitz, playing a bit more creatively and speculatively. Knight g3, knight c2, he's got to sack the queen because king e2, queen a6. Or is it? No, he doesn't have to sack the queen. He's fine there. But yeah, I don't, I don't blame him going into the tank and probably taking forever. Um, can't move that. Fast mate. Knight g3, knight c2, king e2, so yeah, knight g3, knight c2, king e2, thought about bishop g4, but he can just go f3 and it gives him another escape square, I don't have any way to just like Finish him off, hammer him here. I mean, just winning the rook is enough. And I believe my opponent has earned a block after this because instead of just resigning, sitting here like a child pouting, just resign. It's a bit disrespectful. It's it's at the same level of the, the people who continue to play. And I mean, we even had a series of videos where people continue to play when they're down like 16 points in the eval, like a queen and a rook and a minor piece or something. So I would say it was a pleasure, but it definitely was not. You earned a block. Congratulations. It rarely happens, but you definitely earned it. Okay, so went with this speculative variation. As you can already see, the engine likes white by a full point, and the stats are not that great for black. But this move already gave me confidence because I'd never seen it before, which means it didn't make much sense. C3, knight C3, or knight D2, so you're actually threatening to take the knight and mess up the pawns is probably best. If takes, the idea is queen check, and we take back. But after bishop e3, already knight b4 is strong. I was looking at the idea, but I wanted to get in a, this idea first, because it was annoying. And after knight b4, knight g3, I deemed as best. I did not consider bishop c2, but... Bishop c2. I don't understand why we don't just go knight c2 immediately. Mm hmm. Missed queen c3. 
Oh, that's nice. I would have just taken on A1. And then more than likely played knight e7 in castles, but b6 makes a lot of sense. So kind of deprived of a game there, but hey, knight a6, advanced Karakhan for you. Why not?